Finally, you guys are here. I got about six more days to train. 215 pounds. I'm trying to come in at 210. And as you can tell from my bags under my eyes, I haven't been getting much sleep. Putting too much into my training. See what's transpired over the last 12 months since I got uh, controversial fourth place behind Flex Wheeler last year at the Olympia. Plan on improving on that this year. Let's rock. Everybody keeps asking me, what do I think about all these new guys coming in? I don't think about the new guys, man. I think about the guys ahead of me. You know, I don't look back at what's coming up behind. I look to see what's ahead of me. You know, I'm, I'm really curious to see how many judges are judging this year from last year. Which certainly doesn't make it any more of a special occasion for me getting ready for my 13th Olympia. It certainly would be a special occasion if I knew I had 12 fate fresh faces that I'd be showing my physique in front of instead of the same people that are judging me based on what I looked like last year. And I understand the displeasure that Flex was experiencing and the frustration that Kevin Lavroni is now experiencing from last year's second place. I've always said it, second place sucks. But until you've been there, you don't know. We don't compete for second place, you know? The prize money is great, but uh, we're, we're all out here trying to become a part of history. And uh, when you have the judging situation, the same for the past 13, 14 years, uh, we, can't, we can't move ahead under the current system. But the one thing I know, they can't hold me back can't hold me back. Progress is going to continue because I control this here. That's it. Drive it up. Thank you, sir. Nothing like getting a spot from a living legend, you know? That's Mr. Boyer Co. He's a local resident down here in Newport and Huntington along with former national champion Troy Zuccolato. Boyer knows a thing or two about bodybuilding. He's done the, uh, the Masters Olympia in the universe a few times. He, uh, there's a nice little link there. Boyer was before my time. He goes all the way back to the days of Arnold and Franco and Dickerson and Zane I was, and all those guys. I was back in the days of the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> you just got there before I did. Okay, let's go. All right. Same thing. Huh? Got it. Good. Drive it up. Excellent. Come on. Good. Lock out. Drive it up. Rack it. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. It's called a drop set. I usually start doing drop sets close to a competition. Get a little, more, a little bit more blood in the system. A few more repetitions. I'm working on detail right now. I'm not working on strength. I'm not going to get much bigger in the next week and a half before the show. So contract and squeeze. Push and squeeze is what I'm working on. Try to flex the muscle, get all the fibers and detail to come in as I'm on my low carb diet right now. I'll be on low carbohydrates. Today's Wednesday. I'll be on low carbohydrates till next Wednesday. So seven days of low, 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 low carbohydrates. I'm talking like a half a cup of oatmeal with my egg whites in the morning. The rest is chicken and vegetables, steak and vegetables. Some more egg whites. And believe me, by next Tuesday, I'll be a walking zombie, but I'll look like an anatomy chart. Then on Wednesday and Thursday, I'll start putting in the carbohydrates, throwing in a lot more steak, taking a little bit more fluid, and I'll start cutting back on the water on Friday. Saturday will be time to rock the house. One thing you got to do, especially when you're training in other people's gyms, is rack your weights. You know, they're always looking at the big guys or the professional to lead by example. And I think that has a lot to do with why I'm welcome in so many gyms because I have good gym etiquette. And uh, I don't take for granted the privilege of training at different gyms for free, which is a courtesy that most gyms extend to professional bodybuilders. But we also realize that people are looking at us as we train, 
And if we leave the gym a mess, then other members think they can leave it a mess and it all comes back on me. So I take pride in the fact that, you know, I respect the gyms and they, they give me a pass to come in and train free. All right, so we're gonna move on and do some uh, flies. You know, as a professional athlete, you have to become your own entity. There's nobody that takes more pride and more focus and more concern about my career than me. So when you see Sean Ray Productions, you see Sean Ray. When you send me an email, when you write to my post office box, I'm on the other end. I'm on the receiving end. I have the key and I have the keyboard. You order a picture or a video or a poster or a book, I'm the one that sends that out to you. Um, and it's not a lot of work, it's part of the job. As well as the photo shoots, uh, the negotiation for appearance fees, the negotiation for contracts. And maybe that contributes a little bit to my success a little bit more than others because if you have one bad manager or you overprice yourself or you don't really market yourself appropriately, uh, you can have a very short career and very short income. Um, but the many years I've been involved in it, being Sean Ray Productions, controlling every entity of Sean Ray Productions, I know how much is going out, I know how much is coming in, as well as controlling the training and competition aspect. It certainly makes my job a lot more pleasurable because I am my own manager, I am my own promoter, uh, and I am my own marketer. So whenever you see anything out there regarding me, I set it up and I pat myself on the back. If you have any word of advice for all these new jacks that are coming up, maybe this is your first battle for the Olympia, or maybe this is your first opportunity to compete in the Olympia, get control of your career. Um, promoters, when they hire you, they want to speak to you because that's who they're going to be paying, that's who they're going to have to deal with, not your manager. Take control of our careers so that at the end of our careers we have something tangible. So, handle your business in the gym, but get smart. All right?